back to another video guys so that we have a nice little install video for you nice little simple easy we're just putting on some floorboards but not just any floorboards these floorboards are like to me right now the elite floorboards for your bike these these things are sick man i've waited basically almost two months for them to get delivered uh they are from italy they look sick uh, some of you guys might have seen them online or not uh, but these are the Rebuffini floorboards for Harley Davidson baggers. I already went ahead and I opened the package earlier, but my, 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 my. There's the Rebuffini logo right there on the side of the floorboard, just looking so clean. So they are all black with uh, a red accent on them. Uh, so sick, so sick. And then you're gonna have that grayish accent right there in the middle um just looking really really clean man Dude, this this is a nice floorboard i mean in this day and age like there are just so many companies out there making floorboards man so so many and a lot of them are just like not good looking whatsoever i mean hey you know it's like everyone likes different stuff but I, I'm, I'm very very picky with what i put in my bike and and these these right here these and not for nothing, I love the Empire collection that I have on my bike right now, but I just felt like my bike is just missing a lot right now. So with that being said, I am coming up with a bunch of new ideas for the bike. I'm changing a bunch of stuff out little by little. So this is the, the floorboards right for the front. Mm. And then we also have the passenger tags in the back. These look really nice. These look really, really cool, man. These look really nice. Once again, with the Rebuffini uh, logo right there, has it on both sides. Uh, just it's so, like like I don't know something like this little you know just uh, it just this little could just change the whole look of your bike I, I just but anyways let's just get into the product real quick um, from the looks of it I just opened them up we're gonna be kind of reviewing this product real quick quality wise the way it looked the way it showed up to my house um, no these were not given to me I bought them with my hard-earned cash they are a little pricey, I'll tell you that. They are a little pricey and and, and it's a little annoying to get them because maybe one or two, maybe one or two sites here in the US carry them, but they don't literally carry them, so you gotta pay them, order it, and then wait till they order it from Italy, get it shipped to them, and then they ship it to you. I hate that shit. But quality wise, let's see, do I see any imperfections right now? As of right now, no, I don't see any imperfections. It looks really, really nice and clean. Um, it looks like it's of nice high quality work. It feels really nice to the touch. Has a nice little heavy feel to it. Very, very, very cool. I haven't looked at the little ones up too close yet, but these seem to be nice and clean as well. No scratches. Everything comes nice and wrapped in bubble wrap. Good. They look good. Let's just, uh, let's put them on. Okay, so I'm going to take back what I said about quality control because I'm pissed right now. This one here is perfect it comes with that middle design in it with a gray uh engraved in it this one's all black they didn't do it on this one how is that possible how do you ship out how do you pick and put these next to each other before shipping them out and see that this one's totally different from that one i'm gonna leave it on for now um i'm gonna reach out to the company see if well they should be able to send me a, a, another pair um I already went ahead and I installed the left side, so right now what we're gonna show you is how to install the right side. All right, let's just stop this video real quick. So it's been three days since the install. I didn't wanna go ahead and put all this information without me even reaching out to the company to see what they would do for me or not. Um, I did, I reached out to them, hey listen, this happened, I received this product this way, what can you do about it? They were extremely apologetic and then they next day aired, DHL expressed me the item and I got them two days later. So that customer service is amazing. And no, they don't know who I am, they don't know about my channel or anything like that. I literally just went on the website, I reached out to them, showed them a picture and um, yeah. So we got the brand new board here with the, well, there's something else I gotta show you guys. So I ended up actually ordering the uh, the brake pedal, which we gotta change out. Um, but I did get the new floorboard. So there you go. Brand new, this one's perfect, actually. I was able to get the uh, brake pedal uh, right here as well. 
Um, so this is a plus because now it's gonna look really nice and clean. And on the other side, I got the uh, shifter as well too. Shifter and the brake pedal. We're gonna be changing that out right now. And yeah, back to the other part of the video. So these are the Harley-Davidson Empire Collection floorboards that we're taking off and we're gonna be adding these Ribuffini floorboards. So I just did try to add on the washer and I was just, it won't fit. As you guys saw before, I already went ahead and I put on the left side already, but it's not shaking or anything like that. It's, it's not crazy, so I'm just gonna leave them like that for now. All right, so there's no shaking and it's still pretty stiff even if I wanted to move up it stays there so that that washer is really not necessary anyway so looks pretty good and that is the back one One thing I noticed was that I forgot to order the brake pedal uh, to match everything. So right now it just doesn't look the best. Um, but I did notice just literally a few days ago before it got here, I'm like, wait a minute, there's something I'm missing, the brake pedal. Um, so I, I mean, once I get in contact with them about the uh, floorboards not matching up, I can speak to them about uh, getting this out to me as well. So this will match up nice afterwards and then we'll get the, uh, the other side as well. Um, overall, I mean, they look great. It was just like this little hiccup right here, this mishap, and hopefully they have really good customer service and they're able to fix this for me quick. Look-wise, quality-wise, it looks good, it feels good. Um, hopefully their customer service is really good where I'm able to reach out to them and they're able to fix this little issue for me. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But anyways, the black and the red looks really, really good with my bike right now. Um, yeah, just, I, I need the, the brake pedal and then the shifter on the other side for it to match up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be linking their website down below. Um, hopefully if you guys order this stuff, you won't have the same issue I had right now. All right, so now we put our feet on there. Um, as far as grip, you're not gonna have the craziest grip. I kind of feel like my foot could slide anywhere in the middle. Um, the only place you're gonna, gonna have really, really good grip is wherever there's those spikes at. There's three spikes in the back. There's two right here on the side. So once you place your foot there, yeah, your foot ain't moving anywhere. Um, some riders like to have the accessibility to kind of move around their feet very smoothly, move it around. Some other riders prefer to be very, very sticky where to the point where you put your feet, they're not gonna move anywhere. Um, but I could kind of see how these were made this way because if you just wanted to keep your feet locked in You keep it locked in right there and you're not really gonna move anywhere now If you wanted to just keep your you know feet moving where you had to you know press the brake move it up move it forward You do you know it is really really easy to move it around I just wish it had a bit more spikes on the uh, on the outside rim right here Because in case you want to go right there. I mean it's pretty locked in right there Those spikes are pretty sharp. So they kind of once they lock you in, definitely locks you in. So, Rubifini, do I recommend them? Yes, just to show you guys that sometimes, you know, really good companies do make mistakes and it kind of shows later on if and when they do a mistake on how they take care of their customers. Obviously here, customer service was A1. They were able to take care of me, it was super fast. I'm super happy with this product now as well. Um, and I'm happy that my bike is gonna be looking really, really good. So I'm gonna actually be linking their description down below. You guys can reach out to them in case you want to do want to buy anything. And then in the meantime, I will be doing a follow-up review on these four boards. 
um, a few weeks or uh, maybe a few months from now to show you guys exactly how they're holding up and to see if this quality is of top notch. Anyways, that's going to be it. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.